The third and final upgrade for the Mac Pro 2013 that we are going to be looking at is one that has not had a YouTube review yet. It is the Angel Shark Internal M.2 PCIe SSD Expansion Carrier Board. This allows you to retain your original Mac NVMe and two modern additional NVMe's. The only thing is, their speeds are capped at around 1500 Mbps. It costs $495, but I figured since I already upgraded everything else, I should get this upgrade as well. Inside the box, you'll see screws that you'll need and the tools provided to get the job done, including a heatsink and the board that holds the NVMe slots. Do I think the product is way overpriced? Absolutely. But as long as it goes without a hitch and everything works, I'll be happy. I do think they should lower the price because I don't believe they sold very many of these. One, because of the price. And two, because I never saw this advertised anywhere other than on an Audible Discussions website. It took around 27 minutes to install and at the very end of the video I will be providing the step-by-step -step guide from the Anfil Tech website. The two NVMEs I used were brand new WD Blue 500 GBs. Here is how it looks with everything installed. Okay, interesting it turns on, but will it boot up to Mac OS Mojave? Oh wow, it's playing the original version of that song now. Okay. Computer screen turned on. Apple logo, awesome. It's loading something. Now I know for a fact that I will have to uh, format the NVMe drives if this does work. Because it might be taking me to the... Oh wow, okay. So it detects the Mac, oh yep the disk you inserted was not readable by the computer the disk you inserted was not readable by the computer that's both the NVMEs, the WD ones so as we can see that both drives are detected and you can either ignore it or eject which you don't want to do you want to initialize I believe it should bring up, yep, disk utility now, I do not want to delete the Macintosh HD, which is the first thing that shows up. Big mistake if you do. Just saying. Very big mistake. What you want to do is find the WD drives. And you should be able to go to Erase... And I'll put this as, I'm trying to think, I need to find out what the name of that's called, Monterey, I'm going to spell it wrong, Monterey 500 GB WD, because I'm going to put Mac Monterey on here, so I'm going to go with that, and hopefully that's the right way to do it, and then it'll wipe your drive for you, and then make it seeable by your Mac, so it doesn't show up as ignore or whatever anymore. And then this one, um, for now, I'm going to do it as XFAT so I can have any file size or whatever put on it. And I also believe that this is supposed to be GUID. And um, I'll use it for video editing for now. I just want to prove that this thing actually works. And if all went according to plan, these should now show. Yep, there's one. My Sierra NVMe, my ONN. 
and my Monteri, which I spelled wrong, NVMe can open it up. No longer gives the air to eject anymore. No longer gives the air to eject anymore. So far, both of them open. And then let me also see if I can't find Macintosh HD. And here's the one that my Mac is on. So all three of these are working in that three-way adapter which is absolutely incredible now the next thing that I know people are very very addicted to is the Blackmagic disk speed test opens up perfectly fine and we will test the speeds the Monterey and the other WD so let us check this But wow, so there's 8K. Oh, wow. Um, and I know it's the same drive, but different drives have different speeds. Keep note of this, 1322 and 1471. thirteen seventy two. so 1333 and 1470. So I'm getting a little bit slower, but not that much. Really, it's not that much. Like that, those are really good speeds. I am extremely happy with this product. I just am not happy with the price they're charging. I think it would be better if it was priced around $200 to $300, but $500 is a little extreme.